Hi guys, Brendan from All Around Oz. I'm going to have a bit of a yak today about Weybridge weights. The weights of your car, the weights of your caravan. There's still a lot of people around that have got no idea what GCM means, or even what their trailer weighs, how to read a compliance plate, all that sort of thing. We're going to have a talk about that today. If your car is deemed illegal or defect because it's overweight in an accident, you'll lose everything. Insurance company's not going to cover you if your car is defective, which if it's overweight, it's a defective vehicle, it shouldn't be on the road. So we've grabbed a van from our good friends at Green RV in Coromel. The guys here at Lachlan Fertilisers in Care have let us use their Weybridge. So over the next little while we're going to shuffle this BT50 of ours around in the van and we'll do a heap of different ways, different places, different axle weights and yeah we'll show you what it's all about. So stick with us and we'll have a bit of a play. Alright guys, we've got the whole combination on the Weybridge at the moment, BT50 and the van. This is GCM, this is your gross combination mass. The total between the tow vehicle and the trailer combination, your gross combination mass. You need to know this figure. Your vehicle will be plated to a gross, to, will have a GCM plate number on it, whether it's 6 tonne, 5.5 tonne, 5 two, 7 if it's a cruiser or bigger. You've got to stay under that figure or, you, or your car's overloaded. BT50's got a GCM of 6 tonne, so this combination here you see in front of us must remain under 6 tonne. So on the way bridge here, have a little bit of a look. 4.84 tonne, so that combination sitting there is 4.84. Fair bit of gear in the BT, not much in the trailer. So GCM of 4.84 tonne, limit of 6, we're well under. So we'll shuffle around and get now to another spot and we'll do another one. Righto guys, the serious side, this is the part most people don't get. Aggregate trailer mass and gross trailer mass. ATM and GTM. You need to know these figures, they're on the compliance plate of your van. As it's sitting here now, it's still hooked up to the BT50, so this is gross trailer mass. The measurement we get now is gross trailer mass because part of the caravan's weight is still on the back of the car. Had a look now, it's 2.02, so the gross GTM mass of this van is 2.02 tonne. Right, uh, from um, gross trailer mass to aggregate trailer mass from GTM to ATM is as simple as uncoupling the car and putting the weight on the jockey wheel. No weight on the back of the vehicle now. It, the whole total weight of the van is on the way bridge. So that's given us a weight of 2.22. So this van by itself, ATM, aggregate trailer mass, is 2.22 tonne. No weight on the back of the car, all the weight on the jockey wheel and the axle, 2.22 tonne. Alright, so now we've done ATM and GTM. When we've unhooked the car, we've also learnt now roughly what the ball weight is. We had a GTM of 2.02, we've got an ATM of 2.22, a difference of 200 kilos. So give or take 10 kilos, the ball weight on our BT50 with this van on is about 200 kilos.
All right, now we're going to talk about GVM, gross vehicle mass, the tow vehicle, GVM. This is the maximum weight this vehicle can be at any time on the road. The GVM for the Mazda BT50, this model, is 3,200 kilos. That's as heavy as this thing's allowed to be while traveling on the road. That includes people in it, all the gear in it, full of fuel, the whole everything. When it's rolling down the highway, it's got to be less than 3.2 tonne. These things out of the factory are about 2.1 to 2.15. This thing's got a heap of gear on it now. We're going to weigh it, have a quick look. This vehicle comes in now at 2.62. That's how easy it is. We've put 500 kilos on this car and we've done nothing else. The 500 kilos add up with a bull bar on the front of it out of Mazda, a roller Titan tray roof system up the top with its accessories fitted. We've got a draw system in the back, drop fridge slide, angle fridge, massive C-Tech dual battery system in the back of it, canopy, and a heavy duty tow bar on the back. So all of those things have put 500 kilos in this car, which is in it all the time. That's GVM. The car already weighs over 2.6 ton and sitting there, we're not in it. We haven't got any load of anything in it yet. So we've got about 600 kilos to play with between its weight now and its GVM, its maximum vehicle weight, gross vehicle mass while it's traveling down the highway. Right, so now we've moved the BT50 steer wheels off the bridge at the moment now. We're just weighing the drive, the back end. A couple of quick figures. The car itself weighed 2.62 all up. The rear of the car weighs 1.34, which is what we've got there now, which is what we've got off the scales. The difference between two of them is 1.28. So at the moment we have 1.28 tonne, 1280 kilos on the steer. When the van was hooked up to this car, it was 1.2 flat on the steer, 1.2 tonne. So we've put a 200 kilo ball weight on the back of this car from our caravan, and it has literally pulled 80 kilos off the steer and transferred that to the back axle because we put the ball weight behind the axle. The pivot effect over the rear axle, weight on the other side, lifts weight off the front. 200 kilo ball weight has taken 80 kilos off our steer end. All right, now we're gonna talk about tear weights. Um, it's a little bit of an ambiguous term when it comes to caravan manufacturers. Um, the tear weight on your van, on your compliance plate, might read one thing and then you go to, you pick your van up and you go and you stick it over the way bridge to do exactly what we're doing here today and find out that you, your van's 100 kilos heavier than what the tear weight on the plate says. So you've lost 100 kilos already and you haven't even put any gear in, in the van. The manufacturers, manufacturers actually weigh these vans with nothing in them that can physically be pulled out. So it'll be minus the mattress, it'll be minus the television set, it'll be minus anything that they can physically get out of the van um, when they weigh it. And that's the tear weight of a van. It'll be a completely empty van. Anything that's not screwed in or bolted in will be taken out for the tear weight. payload um, to work out your payload so the gross vehicle mass of the vehicle or the ATM of the trailer minus the tear weight will give you your payload how much um, how much gear you can actually physically put in that vehicle As you can see on the compliance plate here for the van that we've towed, the tear weight is 1,920 kilos and the ATM is 2,220 kilos. 
So the, the gross weight, the maximum weight, sorry, not the gross weight, the aggregate trailer mass of this trailer is 2,220 kilos. That's the maximum that we can use, which gives us the difference between the tear and the ATM is what they class as the payload. So with a 1920 tear and a 2220 ATM, that gives us a 300 kilo payload. A weight distribution hitch, or well, they're also known as levelling bars. There are a couple of levers that fit between the A-frame of the trailer and the tow bar of the tow vehicle. In essence, if your vehicle is sitting down at the rear of the vehicle and the front of the van, they physically lift the tow bar up off the ground. But in doing so, they're putting weight more on the trailer, more weight on the trailer and more weight on the steer. They're taking a little bit off the drive of the vehicle, but they're putting more weight on the trailer axle and the steer of the car. So that's one thing to be mindful of with a weight distribution, distribution hitch. It moves the tow bar up in the air, but it puts a little bit more weight back on the trailer and on the steer of the vehicle. And tow bar specs. Um, on the tow bar of your vehicle it should or will have a specification plate either riveted to the tow bar itself the main beam or tack welded to it with the specs for the tow bar on it and gives you the load rating and how much that tow bar can actually pull or carry. Now with this particular combination it's only a lightweight van. This van itself has an ATM of 2,220 kilos. We have a GVM on the car of 3,200 kilos. 3,200 plus 2,220 gives us an actual GCM of 5,420 kilos. That's the most we can have on this vehicle going down the road, is 5,420. Our GCM has changed because it's a smaller van. We can't fill it up and load it to six ton. We've got to stay at 5,420 because of the weights of the vehicles. 3,200 on our BT50, 2,220 on the van gives us 5,420 GCM. This is another thing that's gonna trick you. If you've got a smaller van, your GCM figure of six ton will be lower. So ATM on our van that we've got here, our little one is 2,220 kilos. During the weighing process, we weighed this van at 2,220 kilos. This van at the moment sitting behind our BT50 is at maximum weight. It hasn't got a lot of gear in it, but it has got two full water tanks. So to tow this car legally, just tow this car, so to tow this van legally, if we want to get out on the highway, we need to empty one of the water tanks so we can get another 50 or 60 kilos in this van and stay legal. The van is already at its ATM, 2,220 kilos. Another thing that you might be interested in is you need to know your split weights of your car. You'll find these in the manual that comes with your car as to how much, what the maximum weight is you can put on your steer axle and the maximum weight you can put on your um, rear axle. For the BT50, um, we're allowed 1.48 ton on the front and 1.85 ton on the back. If you add those up, that gives you 3.33 tonne, 3,330 kilos, but we're only allowed a GVM of 3,200. So you can't load the axles to maximum weight or you will be overweight. These weigh bridges that you can use to weigh, tear, ATM your van and that sort of thing are gonna be big public weigh bridges more than likely. So they're gonna be capable of weighing anything from a car to a fully loaded B-double. Um, so the increments, they don't weigh in one kilo increments, they weigh in 20 kilo increments. So if you stand on that bridge and you weigh 90 kilos, that bridge is going to tell you either 80 or 100. It won't tell you that you weigh 90. You'll get on the bridge and it'll, and it'll say 80 kilos and you'll go, yee I've lost 10 kilos. Or you get on the bridge and you'll say, this thing's out, I'm 100 kilos. But you've, it'll go to the closest figure. If you weigh about 90 kilos, so if it weighs 1,990 kilos, the bridge is gonna say 1,980 or 2,000 kilos. 
it'll um, go to the highest or lowest number, but it'll be within 10 kilos, the figure that you get off the bridge. Okay, so in conclusion of this video, what have, what have we learnt? We've learnt that the all-around Oz BT50 has got over 500 kilos worth of gear in it already and it hasn't got us or anything that we need for holidays to go away with. So we're carrying 500 kilos around with us as payload every day. It weighs now 2.62 GVM, so the weight of the BT-50 is 2.62. We have a six tonne gross combination mass, GCM. So they take one from the other, and that only gives us a 3.38 towing capacity, not 3.5. We must, remember, we must stay under our six tonne. The more weight we put in the BT, the less weight we can have on the trailer. So if our BT weighs three tonne, we can only tow three tonne. We can't tow 3.5 tonne. That's where people get tricked. You can't load things up to their maximum. You need to stay under six tonne. The weight is between the two vehicles. That's a combination mass, a gross combination mass, the two vehicles. One vehicle weighs three, the other vehicle can only weigh three. It can't weigh three and a half. Alright guys, a little bit of a summary. Um, by now you should know the difference between GCM, gross combination mass, ATM, aggregate trailer mass, GVM, gross vehicle mass, GTM, gross trailer mass, tear weight and payload. So there it is guys, that's all around Oz's weights video. I hope I've covered everything, I'll put it in words and photos, a little bit of video here and there to try and explain some of the terms. I think I've covered everything, I hope I've covered everything, and I hope that helps you guys out to understand what it, what it all means. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the road. Cheers guys.